Here we go. There we go. Hey guys, this is uh, TKZ in Roblox Studio. You know uh, the Matrix movie where you get that sort of uh, text e uh, matrix effect. That's the only way I can describe it. Wow. I'll be making my own kind of thing. Here we go. There we go. It's that sort of effect. I finally uh, worked out how to do it. It's a Surface GUI of course on there and I'm just uh, working out the width of the uh, GUI to, to work out how many streams there is and those characters that you see streaming after it is at, is basically meant to be the first uh, street bit when it goes down let's stop it I'll actually sh uh, slow it down a bit Let's actually comment that out. 0 0.2, so you better see it uh, working. Let's do 0 0.8, that would do. I'm actually starting them off of the GUI, and then as they go down, they sort of uh, go through a database of characters, which is basically I sat there and just typed this out, all that, which is basically all the characters that Rivers can, sh can uh, display. And then I um, found a sort of a function online to uh, to sort of randomise the character, the characters. So otherwise it would be in that sort of order. And then every single tick, I draw the, the tail after the, uh, the head part, or the main part of the stream. And then, if I've done it right, we should see that character. Ah, we don't. So we'll uh, go up the stream, up the trail. It seems like I haven't quite got it there yet. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> I guess I haven't slowed it down yet. This is actually my first uh, rendering after actually coding it. The way I think it should go, but I think there's a few bugs in it somewhere. Where that should be a five there, and it should go up the tail, but apparently it's not. And I think as the trail goes down, it sort of fades out. That's the next little bit. So anyway, I'll show you the code behind it. It's not perfect, as you can see. <laughs> I'm animating every single stream, working out the width, how many streams there is by the width of the canvas, and then dividing it by uh, the character size, which in this case is 10 pixels on both X and Y. And then I'm uh, creating the stream, the head of the stream, and creating a table to keep record of all my little bits and pieces. That's that's where I think I'm I'm um, messing up a bit. Because uh, even though I know tables, when you're working with multi multi-dimensional tables, it does get a bit little bit complicated, like this is. Like here, this is the, one of the heads of the streams. Let's just say if I zoom in, let's just say that D R B whatever that one there. It's basically one of those. It's that's what that is. So I'm taking the the actual uh, UI plus the character reference in the character map table, which is this thing. Then I'm doing a random speed for it to come down the screen. And this empty table here is basically just keeping record of the trail. And that's another little table inside of that. <laughs> so that part of it, I'm sort of filling it up. If the trail 
named that that's inside the GUI if it's equals nil then it creates it there you go trial zero for stream zero and I'll show you that on the uh, GUI there we go so we're on that one and then trial one which is what next one up I've got to work out a way hopefully by the time you guys see this video I'll have that sort of fixed so it sort of runs up the trail and maybe a little bit of fading at the same time so hopefully if I can do it I'll be also releasing this as well so you guys can actually study from it it's a little bit uh, sort of everything all over the place kind of thing <laughs> so you have to bear with me sort of thing I sort of wrote this uh, literally it's now 8 o'clock in the morning and I've been up since 12 o'clock last night so that's probably the reason why I sound tired <laughs> so yeah basically eight hours creating a matrix effect the what spurred me on to actually making this thing is I actually watched the matrix movies again and the first in the first movie where you see sort of uh, Neo uh, come out of his apartment or a apartment and then he looks round, looks to his left and he sees three smiths firing at him along that uh, that hallway and then he sort of gets up after being shot and then all he sees is the entire hallway including the three smiths with this effect over it so I thought I'll generate uh, at least the effect the next bit after I've done those little bugs is to work out how to do the whole entire Roblox as that texture <laughs> I've worked out a little script that I can't actually show you now because I think I might have got rid of it I was just messing about with a video on video plan and had everything in Roblox playing that video every single surface that you see including the skybox I wish I kept that now so I've got a way of actually doing it I've just tried a little thing like this on the base plate and it does not run so I've got to optimize it for that kind of thing or maybe run, run it from one script and keep a reference of the uh, surface to you guys where they are sort of thing then it should be lag free hopefully because the way I was doing it I was actually cloning the surface UI inside all the different bits and yeah, that won't work yeah here we go copy paste 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 just showing you what it's like no getting there will ya one two three four five six right so that is left side this can be right side this can be front back bottom and top right so hopefully we'll be able to see it on all sides of this brick I'll show you the lag of it yeah there we go just uh, running not too bad but considering I'm, uh, gener I'm running six scripts and it's running a lot of lines you can see the sort of lag of it I've got to work out a, a quick way of doing it just have a look at the bottoms uh, the same yep it's there so it's a little bit script heavy if you like or lag heavy <laughs> but not bad for my first attempt at it I guess in Lua that is because I, I have actually done a JavaScript version or web page if I if I uh, if I can find it I would, uh, would put, it, put it on the end of this uh, video it looks better than this one 
So you've got the whole entire page kind of like a little website underneath and this scrolling down assuming I can find it <laughs> so yeah I thought I'd uh, let you guys uh, know what I've been doing it's a kind of like a little pastime thing well coding is uh, my pastime so what am I saying there <laughs> anyway yeah if I remember I will put this in the uh, description down below so you can so you guys can actually play with it the it's still a little bit uh, sort of all over the place and I've left the template there so you can actually change the font and things like that like let's actually top it where I've got a sort of a text plus a shadow so if you have a non-black background you have a little shadow between for the uh, characters so if I do let's just say blue oh, you should be able to see the shadow ah little bug I forgot my Z index Two. So that should be three and that should be two. There we go. A shadow. And let's not clip those two sentences. Like so. There we go. Right, let's play. There we go. So yeah. If I can work out those little bugs, or I may even leave them in there, so you guys can actually work out how to uh, see if you can work it out. And maybe I might do a follow-up on the... Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. So then I can do a follow-up on how I fixed it. So it's your challenge to fix this script. So the problems with this script is you got like the head of the trail is the random character generator and then you got the trial at the end meant to work that character's meant to go up the trial so you got to work out a way of actually doing that and i will also try and figure out how to do that i think black looks better the other thing is the fading the easy bit that's actually really easy to do all you got to do is go through the for loop have a value between 0 and 1 and because I've got the trial length you divide 1 I think by the trial length and then do a little bit of math to work out the, the uh, transparency like the text transparency and things I wonder if you can actually do the template transparency No, only background. Okay. Yeah, so that's your challenge for well, as long as you like, really. <laughs> but I think possibly in the next I don't know, week or two I'll probably end up uh, updating this and making it look better. And fixing those problems, of course. So Let's actually run that. Yeah, so this has been Tigaza in Roblox Studio on my Matrix effect. And a, and maybe a little bit of homework if you like. And I'll catch you guys later. Tigaza, signing out. <laughs>